hello friend welcome to my channel so in this video we will discuss the polymerization process so in the previous video we had discussed what is meant by monomer and what is meant by polymer so let understand the polymerization process now so if you are new here please subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon so that you'll get the updated videos from mechanical design Atta because uh, we are completing this complete series plastic product design series from basic to uh, advanced or you can say intermediate level what is polymerization so polymerization is actually a chemical process through which we are getting the plastic so here you can see the uh, small small molecule uh, which we called as a monomer so we have discussed this one in the previous video monomer we can call it as a building block and uh, through the polymerization process so we are getting the long and the repetitive chain of the monomer so this is the collection of all the monomers are joined together and it will form the polymer which is nothing but our plastic material uh, propylene is the monomer then the polypropylene is our polymer or the material plastic material so in this process actually the small molecules are joined together and it will form into long and repetitive chain through the polymerization process this complete reaction is happening and this process is very essential in the production of uh, plastic materials and the synthetic fibers rubbers and various other types of material so there are two types of polymerization process actually one is a uh, additional polymerization and second one is the condensation polymerization so in the additional polymerization so here we use the uh, monomer and through the polymerization process additional polymerization process we are getting the polymer so here we can see number of ethylene we, we have used and it uh, we are getting the polyethylene but in the condensation polymer uh, we can use the different types of monomer like here we use the adipic acid and hexaethylene uh, diamine and we are getting the nylon but if you observe here so in the additional polymerization there will be no no byproduct no byproduct and in the condensation polymerization here we will get water as a byproduct you can see over here so we are getting the water as a byproduct in additional polymerization the material we are getting like a, a polyethylene uh, polypropylene polystyrene and polyvinyl chloride like pvc and ptfe and the in the condensation polymerization so we will get the mat, uh, material like a nylon polyester polycarbonate urea formaldehyde and the phenol formaldehyde uh, in the additional polymerization like a flexible and a tough uh, material property we will get and in the condensation polymerization like a, a good strength durability and uh, this type of property we will get in the condensation polymerization so but this property it will vary depends upon the monomer use and the uh, additives used in the polymerization process in both the process actually uh, we are getting the long chain uh, uh, of the repetitive monomers uh, and then uh, which is we called as a polymer or the plastic material so this polymer can have the specific property by changing the monomer or the condition of the polymerization process and the polymer are incredibly versatile and are used to make the wide range of products so this after getting this material so we will extrude it in the extruded machine and we will cut into the uh, pallets so small small pallets will convert uh, this material and we, then we will use this material in the injection molding blow molding or the rotation molding like that so in the plastic manufacturing process so in that we use those pallets and we will get the product so after that it goes uh, ready for the market so friend so that's it for this video i hope you like this video so in next video we will discuss the polymer structure so thank you for watching the video uh, if you like this video please like share and subscribe the channel and uh, uh, if you want with uh, want to share with your friend so please share 
and uh, please be continue with this series so just we are started from the basic and uh, this series will go continuously step by step like we are uh, now we are at the uh, introduction section so we will first complete the uh, introduction uh, in uh, six to eight videos and then we will move to the material and uh, then we will move to the manufacturing process and the design guidelines and so like that we will continue the complete series so uh, stay connected and uh, see you in the next video